Welcome back. This is week of January 7th, general quickie reading. Uh, Pisces, I'm going to pull some general energies for you. If you, um, whoa, Pisces, your cards just fell out. <laughs> what I was going to say is, uh, please check out my social media account links down below. If you're new to me, welcome. Um, every other week I do an in-depth love spread, so don't forget to check those out as well. So let's see what we got going on for you, Pisces. So in the recent past energy, you know, you might not, you might not have been feeling yourself, you know, <laughs> you, some of you, you know, just might feel like, I don't want to, not, it's not a depression, but just. feeling blue. Does that make sense? Or a little bit introverted. Okay. But I feel like that energy changed around pretty quick. Some of you, um, are trying to transform your health, um, transform your finances. And some of you, it's like your energy in a partnership, but I definitely see in the recent past that, um, you know, you might have been spending some time alone, staying up late, thinking uh, what your next steps are, dreaming even about where, you know, what you want to do, uh, if you want to take a risk on something new or not, and focusing on, like I said, transformation, you know, your next chapter, okay? Pisces, I feel like um, this week, you know, you might be trying to keep a, a logical approach to things. Careful, because there's somebody in your environment. Um, that's carefully examining, okay? For some of you, this may be a boss. Uh, some of you, your boss may be, you know, keeping an eye on you, um, kind of analyzing your work. All right. And, you know, you need to put a lot of attention there, particularly if you haven't been huh, putting attention there. All right. I'm getting a lot of work vibes. So towards the end of the week, I feel like there's going to be communication coming in, um, regarding like finances or work like I said the next chapter the next phase some of you this is just as simple as getting like your year-end review <laughs> you know where your boss goes over you know what you did the past year your accolades which you need to work on and you might you know, be focusing on that. That's one group of you. Another group of you, there is, and you can be in all of the groups or one of the groups, okay? Um, there is an emotional manipulator in in the vicinity this week, okay? So definitely watch for that. I feel like there's jealousy in the workplace because I have two manipulator cards here. For some of you, it may be you, but I'm seeing this as external to you. And I feel like Pisces, if this is your situation and there's an emotional manipulator, it doesn't have to be in the workplace. For a lot of you, it is could be within the family, within your love relationship, whatever. I feel like you're you're not going to give this person your attention. You're going to continue to focus on what you need to focus on and like keep your nose to the grindstone. That's what I just heard. <laughs> keep your nose to the grindstone. You know. 
For some of you, you have an emotionally manipulative Scorpio. Uh, could be a Cancer or a Pisces, <clears throat> like yourself. But I'm seeing a heavy emphasis on a water sign. For some of you, it's an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And I feel like, again, whether this is love, family, friends, career, Pisces, you're turning your back on it. Okay? You might be getting, like, communication or gossip or somebody's trying to... <laughs> Some of you are ignoring, like, text and calls. Like, you might be getting, like, messages and you're ignoring it because you just don't want any part... You don't want any part of it. And I feel like you're trying to put your focus on, like I said... Your work, your studies, whatever it is that you're diligently focused on. Family. Let me get some clarification on this. Yeah, there might be a whistleblower. Didn't I just say that? Some of you, like I said, you know, there might be somebody at work that's like blowing the whistle on somebody. You know, calling them out. And you might be hearing about this, but like turning a blind eye to it or just not giving it attention. Because you feel like this person craves attention. Again, this doesn't have to be at work. I just keep seeing that. But for some of you, this is a family member or somebody you're partnered with or an ex, however it resonates. There's somebody in the energy that's highly emotionally manipulative, has a tendency to be jealous, may even like watch or compare their lives to other people. And they may be trying to like blow smoke up your ass or, <laughs> you know, and Pisces, you're just Keeping to yourself, you know, not expressing your opinion on it, that's for certain. Yeah. Um, some of you also might be, um, for a few of you, you're ending, if you're single, then you're moving away from that energy and you might have. Uh, somebody trying to get your attention here. And it's heavy air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But it could be any sign. Uh, as a characteristic, this person would be uh, intelligent, logical, um, sarcastic even. Uh, but also not like the most warm and fuzzy. You know, they may have had their eye on you for a while, but not have been able to pull anything together with you. And I feel like there may be some, and they may be interested in you trying to communicate. But like either the communication's not getting through or you're not interested. If you're a female, this is only going to be a few of you. You may be partnered and there's somebody external to the relationship that has their eye on you. And they may be communicating with you behind your partner's back. Like while you're at work or while they're at work.
That doesn't necessarily mean like cheating, but I feel like if this is the case, you may not even be aware of this person's intentions and that, that they're, you know, interested. For some of you, I see you don't know that. Well, now you know that if you're watching this, that they have deeper interests in that. Okay. So caution if that's your situation. Okay, because I have some secretive, like, energy here. So that's definitely for a few of you. Or if this is not you, you are, like, on the outskirts of someone, like, a friend. This is going on with someone else that you know, like a friend or a family member. All right. Woo! That's an interesting reading, Pisces. Very interesting. Um, so overall message, be assertive. Like I said, I feel like, you know, in your own Piscean way, you are being assertive by not giving it the attention, <laughs> you know, by, uh, wh whatever scenario you're in, whether it's the manipulative person or the issues going on at work or somebody trying to get your attention behind your partner's back. Um, you know, I feel like you know what you stand for, Pisces, and stick to that, okay? Because that's the overall message. So, let me tell you what zodiac signs I have here. Don't get caught up on it. If it resonates, it resonates. Don't overcomplicate, okay? But what I have, Pisces, another water sign, a court up. Uh, Aquarius. Some of you, it's an Aquarius. Um, <laughs> but I have <clears throat> Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, heavy on Pisces and Scorpio. I've got an air sign, like I said, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, Aries. Possibly an earth sign. So, I um, hope you enjoyed that, Pisces. Make sure you catch me next week, and I wish you all the very best. Namaste.